Hello, have you ever tried to reference a bunch of different tabs within one workbook and had trouble finding a way to write one formula that you could drag down and accomplish that with without having to manually change what sheet you're referencing? For example, let's say that I've got a summary of sales and cost of sales by customer and I've got my data by customer on separate tabs with the customer name and then a total sales and a total cost of sales in the first row. And so when I go to summarize that, if I look at Ryan's total revenue, let's say equal tab Ryan cell C1. And of course I want to be able to drag that eventually to different down and I want to keep it in one. So what I'm looking for there, but then obviously when I go to Mitchell, it, it doesn't work. It's still looking at that Ryan sheet. So the way that I can do this is to use something called the indirect function. And so I basically now want to give Excel something that looks exactly like that Ryan explanation point C dollar sign one. I just have to write it all as something that is drag downable, if you will. So I'm going to actually refer to the customer name right here as that is the sheet name. Then I'm going to hit the ampersand key, which is or shift seven. And then open quotes. I'm going to get that explanation mark in quotes. And then I'm going to do another ampersand. And now I want it to be a, a C here in this cell, but I want to change it to a D automatically when I drag it over to the right to column C. So I'm going to say mid to give me the ability to specify a text string and where to start and how many to return. So in this case, I want to return a C and in the next cell, I want to return a D. So I'm going to go B, C, D. And then I want it to start in basically whatever column I am. Right now I'm in column B, which will return a two. So that means of that string that I created B, C, D, I'm going to start at the C, the second character, and then I want it to return only one character. So. In this case, it should return that C. And then when I drag it over to column C, we'll be in the third column. So it should only return that third character, which is a D. I'll close that. And now I'll need to do another ampersand, open quotes. I'll just grab it here. This is where I should be at in my formula now. And then I will have to close the quotes close parentheses and that looks like it works we'll drag it down we'll see not quite the issue here is that i didn't lock down this very first reference so i need to make sure that that stays in column a and now i'll paste it over so we can check line cost of sales 9287 on cost of sales 9287 lawn revenue 2561 2561 so there is a way that you can write one formula on the summary sheet when you're referencing a bunch of different tabs